Well, it is a population where clinically I experience that patients actually do respond even better sometimes than Alzheimer's disease. That's just clinic anecdotal. Um, uh, rivastigmine or, uh, uh, has been approved for Parkinson's dementia and uh, Nuplacid has been approved for uh, Parkinson's related psychosis. And so these are areas where we hope to do more. The positive side is they do seem to at least our impression is that they seem to respond better to these medications than my typical Alzheimer patient. On the downside, they're often dealing with the motor symptoms, the psychiatric, the cognitive symptoms, and so they can really struggle along with their care partners. I'm glad we didn't completely give up on symptomatic therapies, that those make a big difference in people's lives as well as their care partners. Um, I do want to see more data from these amyloid therapies to see did they get rid of the amyloid? Was it a subset of patients that seemed to respond? I think right now the initial data is just that they were never going to reach the endpoint that would allow them to use it as a therapeutic in a broader population. But again, going back to cancer, I think, you know, as we subtype people, tumors out, we realized that, that there was a subgroup that was responding quite well, and I keep my fingers crossed. Um, but to say that I have the magic pill of which, what's the critical part, um, I'm keeping an open mind. I, I would say our group uh, here at, at the Cleveland Clinic on main campus, we've been focused on right characterizing patients very in very great detail. Uh, and then now we're also starting to look at how the immune system might interact. And I think that's probably one area I haven't mentioned so far where it may be that, it, that um, intervening with how the immune system responds, and it may be both positive and negative, uh, how the immune system responds and why that seems to play a role in the disease uh, should be modified. My guess is it's both, that the immune system at different times may play a positive role and may later play a negative role mm -hmm. or, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And so those are the sort of nuances as we sort of personalize therapy for dementia and Alzheimer's disease that uh, we need to be very careful, um, but also I think it's uh, the genetics are telling us something.